Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI Gathering Storm in the update. Uh, I don't know what the name of the update was. The Antarctic Summer, whatever it was, I think. Anyway, Sid Meier Civilization VI, and we have but one Civ left to play in the expansion, which is England. Hmm. I really need to think about what England's bonuses go towards when they have Eleanor as the leader. Although I'm partially tempted to play the regular version of England with the new Workshop of the World. Because I think Elizabeth's bonuses... Was it, or Victoria's bonuses. Sorry, Elizabeth was a different game. Um, <laughs> Victoria's bonuses seem to work a little bit better. Because now she gets the trade route capacity when you found a city on a home, on a continent other than your home continent. And making the Navy, Royal Navy Dockyard grants you a copy of the strongest Navy unit you can build. So I think we're going to... Hmm. Yeah, but people want to see Eleanor. But I want to play the updated England, but I've already played Eleanor and I don't think the bonuses for Eleanor of England really go that well. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to play Victoria, sure. We're going to be playing on DD, of course, and we'll make the map ever so slightly bigger. We'll go up to a standard size for eight saves in the game. And, uh... uh -huh. Inland Sea, Fractal. Let's do a Fractal map. With standard everything. Let's do a low sea level with a high disaster intensity and we'll slap in a few extra city states we'll go up to the maximum actually you know what we might do no we'll yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try this out right city states are going to take up a lot of the map but we'll add an extra land with this so i think this is a reasonable setup right dd standard game speed fractal map low sea level none of the other things are changing and we'll just Go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of victory we're going to go for with Victoria. It's probably going to be a scientific victory. I think that's the most likely. Uh, so we're going to take a moment here to talk about her abilities. Now, I could have played Eleanor with England, but I really think Eleanor's abilities synergize much better with France. Ever since England lost their, you know, really good archaeological museums, which I'm kind of sad about because it was a lot of fun to play with those. Um... So the first thing we want to talk about is Pax Britannia. When you found a city on a continent other than your home continent, you get a free melee unit and trade route capacity. Constructing any Royal Navy dockyard grants you a copy of the strongest naval unit you can build, and we gain the red coat unique unit when the military science technology is researched. Uh, Workshop of the world, iron and coal mines accumulate one more resource port per turn, so we might want to try to do an early swordsman push, that might be something worth trying. 100% production towards military engineers, military engineers receive plus two charges, and buildings that provide additional yields when powered provide plus two of that yield. So England is very, very, very good at sort of any sort of late game kind of resource generation, which is very interesting. So let's have a look at the continent map mode. Looks like we are on the continent of, of a Africa. And we did not spawn near a river, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to scout to the north. There's some desert up there. Hmm. Let me have a look at the freshwater map mode. I could move off of freshwater and settle on the furs. That would give me an advantage. It would give me. A, it would kind of ruin that tile, though. Or I could stay near the lake. And if I settled here, I could make a canal into this lake, which would be a lot of fun because we're England and we should be able to build it with uh, military engineers. If we go to the canal building, you can see, I believe you can expend military engineers to complete the construction of it. So that could be fun. So I think in this situation, we are in fact going to move off of freshwater and settle on these furs. Plus it gets us a better harbor anyway. So we'll settle right there. This will give us the boost for sailing. And now, unlike like 90% of my games, I'm actually going to go ahead and research sailing first. We're going to give that a try and see how that works out for us. Maybe go for an early naval melee unit. Um, 
Although, you know what? I do really like revealing animal husbandry early. Notably to get closer to archery, but also revealing horses can be quite powerful. Now, in terms of our first thing, we definitely want to make sure that we put pins down for this to be either a canal and then this one for it to be either a aqueduct. Just doesn't matter which one is which, it just matters that, you know, we we get those both in at some point. Um, do we want to get a scout? Well, as England, finding good other continents to settle on is actually quite important. So we will be getting a scout in order to find out more information. I really want to scout over here, but I feel like covering more ground is more important. There's a very big desert up here. Not a lot of woods in the area, so there is potential for a Petra if we can find a little bit of woods to, um, to help the city out. There's two stone here that we could use to build the Petra. So I could settle like in here near these oases. I could settle right there too. I would have to spend a lot of money and resources to get the Petra though. And there's not really a whole lot of hills in there to really justify the Petra. There is Lautaro. It is an honor to meet you. Nugulu Mapu. What tile are we working? We're working the 2-2 two -two tile, which is great. And we have another 2-2 two -two tile in the uh, in the pipeline. Some turtles over there. I'm going to bring you back um, to keep me safe from barbs. And we're going to prioritize scouting. Wow, there's the chocolate hills. I can't believe I was right beside those. I might have gone for a religion if I had known I was right beside those. I should have scouted to the south as well. Um, I can't believe I was one tile away from discovering those. We are now going to go ahead and pick up a slinger to be able to defend ourselves against barbs in the early game a little bit more effectively. We've yet to find another continent. Okay, so there's Tundra down here. Pop up onto the hills to get a little bit more information. Pop up over here. See, unfortunately, we haven't found any other continents, but we did find horses all the way down here. Speaking of, oh, I completely forgot to send him a delegation. That's going to hurt our relations. So you would only give me two gold per turn, and you won't take a delegation. We did find our first tribal village, which is great. We're going to pick up sailing early. I want to get a trireme. Although I feel like I can delay sailing until I get foreign trade. Let's make our way towards riding. Might be able to justify. Well, we also want to get harbors up early. Let's grab sailing early. Why not? A free builder. Okay. Well, there's not really much to do with you in the early game, so we'll just keep you safe. There's a tribal village over there. Excellent. We have ourselves another slinger to go maybe see if we can find out some more information up over here. Um, and I think it's time we got our first settler and got these chocolate hills settled. Now, I want to either settle the cattle or the horses, I think. And I'm thinking... Apparently this is fresh water. Or maybe it's... Maybe I'm crazy. Whatever. Right. So do we go first settler? We could get a really good tech advantage by getting settled in over here. I could also settle the horses and then work to cattle. For sure that will be the first move. You're still going to hang out there. There is Buenos Aires. That will come in handy. We will pick this up in a moment. Do a little bit of scouting. We're already out of housing in the capital, which is good because we are building a settler. 
want to pop you up onto this hill. There's some diamonds over there. Let's do a little bit of exploration down in this area. There is Code of Laws. I think I'm going to sell him this luxury even though he doesn't really like me. He'll give me four gold per turn, which is a pretty decent deal. Foreign trade. We want this to be able to build uh, units, naval units faster. We'll pop up there. There's the boost towards masonry. Also, you got a promotion and we can fill in our policy slots. Now, I do have a couple of mods installed. Uh, namely, the two mods that I'm using, I admit to talk about these, I am using uh, Sucretact's simple UI adjustments and the alternative, alternative, alternate policy screen, which uh, kind of makes this a little bit nicer in my opinion. Uh, do we want a Pantheon? I think we do, so usually I would go for Urban Planning, but for now I'm going to go for God King because we don't have a source of faith, and I'm going to go ahead and take Discipline so that we can uh, fight Barbs more effectively. Keep exploring with you. We'll pop down this way. All's good. I'm going to pop up onto this hill and then take the hill promotion. Okay, there is the barb camp. I'd love to pop you into the water and get that fish online. Although I do want to get two fish online if I can. Okay, so we do actually have some fairly good land in front of us. No mountains, though, which is the big problem. So we're going to have very weak um, campuses uh, in terms of early game science generation. I'm actually going to just walk you over here to do a bit of fog busting. Let's see if we can get this guy to come towards me. So he's getting a double bonus. So I'm going to back up a single tile so that he's only getting a plus three bonus from these uh, hills. And we'll start working on this guy, too. There are some good mountains over here that we could potentially put a nice campus on. I'm kind of semi-tempted to move a city over here early. Let's go ahead and do that attack. Although I need to be careful about sending these units out in the room when I'm clearing a barb camp. Let's get you to heal for a turn. I'm going to have to bring the scout back to fight this scout off and escort these units. It is not that line. You should survive this attack and then be able to get a promotion. We are going to grab... Mining to maybe head up towards that. You're going to hide inside the city. You're making your way back. So you need to take your volley promotion. That will give you the health to fight this guy. You're swinging in here. Attacking there. We'll have our settler out here this turn. Can send the settler with the scout to the horses. I want to settle on the horses because I want to sell them if I can. Still got the builder. I'm gonna have to wait till this scout is gone. I do want to build a galley, but I want to wait until I have the card. So what can I do in the meantime? I could get myself a second warrior to fight barbs with, and I think I will work on that. I'll get a second warrior. You'll have a promotion this turn. I'll take the promotion and then kill him. Guess I'll take the promotion and not kill him. Pop up here. Get ready to shoot this guy. Take that money. I'm going to make sure that I purchase... The two fish because I want to get those fish online he's being annoying and I want to settle hmm that's unfortunate but I want to settle here oh no let's 
go ahead and fortify you there. We're going to settle in place. We're going to settle on the horses. And we'll sell those uh, when the time comes. You're going to come back over here to try and protect the builder. We'll improve the fishing tile. It's not really workable yet, but it will give us plus one housing eventually. Uh, over here... We definitely want a builder first to try and get these two cattle online. We want to kill there and then see if we can take that. That'll give us the boost for archery. Can you finish this off? There's bronze working boosted. Let's kill another. So we could definitely pick up bronze working and go for an early iron. And I think we will do that. Because the potential for a swordsman here is pretty good. Because we get free swordsman uh, when we build Royal Navy Dockyard. Oh wait, did they wait? They changed that ability, isn't it? It's when you settle. When you found your first city, you receive a free melee unit and trade unit capacity. Yeah. So that's if I found another continent, which I actually haven't found another continent, which is kind of disconcerting. There's also another barb camp over there that I'm going to have to go deal with. Um, but I do have a fresh warrior coming out to do that. When you find yourself right, there's mining. Let's take a moment to heal. You're going to swing over here. We're going to improve the fishing boats. Kind of going for a little bit of a different strategy. There's a lot of luxuries up here that I could play around with. And some pretty nice spots for harbors. Um, I want to build a galley, but I want to wait until I have foreign trade. So I've built a military unit. I have a builder. I could get a monument. Monument would be really, really nice. I also have a production bonus from Buenos Aires, so I feel like that's an efficient decision to make. We boosted this. I'm going to hold on to this builder charge and look for iron. So I might go like Monument Settler and see if I can settle for iron and get Swordsman out. You would only pay seven gold for horses. That's interesting. Ah, that barb camp is being taken care of. So I'm going to start swinging out this way with my scout to get a little bit more information. I'm definitely holding on to you. It's a lot of units. Um... I kind of want to improve this for the tech boost, but I'll leave it for now. Let's go ahead and attack him. Uh, I don't think the Chocolate Hills can be improved by anything. But they are fun tiles. I think they would be way better if they were two food, one production, one science, but that's just me personally. Can you win this fight? Yes. Foreign trade is coming. I'm going to go ahead and get started on another settler. We've got an extra chunk of culture per turn. I want to know a little bit more about here. There could be tribal villages hidden in the fog here that I want to know about. Let's take a moment for you to heal up. Looks like a thing rolled through here, dropping some fertility, which is always cool. Do a little scout in that direction. Scouting. That's the positive aspect of trade. So I don't think I'm going to plug this in just yet. Although I really do want to. I think I'm going to go instead for early empire. I might go for craftsmanship first. And then swap it out when we finish the settler. Or when we, when we do this, we swap it. Let's have a little bit of a look in his direction. I mean, we've got decent land. The only thing we're missing are um, things. We, we still could go for a militaristic move here and build an encampment. That's always an option. We've got choices. We've almost got our Pantheon. We figured out all this, this Tundra. Yeah, I do kind of feel like I need to expand. Unless there's good land over here that I can get to by sea. 
we'll know if we have iron, and we can do a swordsman push next turn. Bronze is the mirror. Iron. Found zero results for iron. That is super sad. I mean, we do have a couple access to horses, I guess. But horses, I don't think, really cut it against these guys. Because these guys tend to go crazy with their science and culture. So I think a war-based early game is out of the cards. It's all about pushing for navy, I think. There is a piece of land down there. I'm going to swing you back up into a defensive position. You, I guess, are going to come over and do that. Although I could save you for if I go for the pyramids up here with my next settler. And I could get the pyramids in a reasonable amount of time, actually, now that I think about it. Because there's two stone chops here. And I'll have a fresh builder to do those stone chops with. And I'll also... have access to Magnus by the time that that matters. Yes. We're gonna go, we're gonna save this builder and we're gonna go for pyramids, I think. There's the boost for early empire. Bit of information there. What do you do again? Bonus resources act like amenities. That's actually quite good. We are in a normal age, which is okay. I'm going to put you to sleep for now. Looks like he hasn't expanded in my direction, which makes me feel pretty secure. Ouch. Um, I'm going to save these build charges for the, pet, the pyramid city up here. And I think... It's only logical to settle here and make a canal or settle here and make a canal. Let's have a look at the merits of both of those. Um, if I settle here, one, two, three, I would have to settle along one of these two tiles to do a feasible thing. So I think that means I'd have to settle here. So this is where the next, this is where the, the uh, pyramid city is going. Now that we've made that decision. I want you to head up this way to the capital to escort that settler when it's done. We grabbed a builder in here. I'd like to get the trader as well. What is your mission? What's the loyalty button? Uh, quests. You have no quests. I guess I already completed your quest. Okay. So I could get working on a settler in Sheffield. I could also get to work on a galley. Although I could save that era score for next era. I think getting an early trader is good. Because I could send it to this city and provide it with a little bit of extra juice. To do what it needs to do. In building the uh, pyramids. Now it's not guaranteed that we get the pyramids. But I think we have a good shot at it. Good information over here. Another barb camp just appeared down here. We have a pantheon choice here. I definitely could go for God of the Sea. That would turn these fishing boat tiles into something much more reasonable. Let's have a look. Uh, this is always good. Goddess of the Harvest is like so good. I don't think I'm going to have anything to spend my f religion points on, though. My faith on. It's really good. God of the Open Sky would get me... One, two... Would have been three, four... Four culture, five culture, if I get that. That's a decent amount of culture from that. 
I feel like the fishing boat boat thing really helps out. Plus one food from camps. I do have a few camps around. Hmm. Food isn't very valuable. I'm going to be harvesting my stone. I think we just go for Goddess of the Harvest here, right? And then use it, use any excess faith. It's, it's either, um, it's either God of the Sea or Goddess of the Harvest, I feel like. We actually don't have that many things we can harvest in my empire. Like, realistically speaking, we have like a couple of stones. We have a little bit of forest up here. We've a few forests in the capital. Um, I mean, technically you can harvest these things, but I think they're better. So because of like the lack of really viable harvesting spots, I'm going to go ahead and take God of the Sea. Partially because I already have two fishing boats that would be well served by uh, the extra production. Now, I think I will still prefer the extra production over the um, extra food here because we're already at a growth limit. Uh, in fact, if I could get this hill tile cheaply, is there an even better one? Yeah, I think I will go for this hill tile over this for now because I'm just housing capped. And there's no sense working. Although there was a little bit of gold up there, I guess you could make the argument. I'd rather an extra production than an extra gold. You head up this way. Okay, we found some really good information here. I'm going to go ahead and call that, though, the end of this episode. We've made some good progress. We've learned some interesting things. We're on our way to our third city. We've almost finished Early Empire. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!